there's a whole host of offers out there on Groupon, you guys. Groupon, just sitting out there waiting for you to offer a prepayment agency. Are already existing. Okay, you can go to Facebook Ads Manager and you can see people's model. Like you can be like, oh, that carpet cleaning company is doing this, they're doing that, whatever. You can see their models. Uh, TikTok Ads Manager, think about TikTok Ads Manager, they actually give you the results. So there's two really good places for research, but there's one that nobody talks about. Nobody talks about it. And you, John, might be able to create with your tech skills and with that particular niche an opportunity. There's a whole host of offers out there on Groupon, you guys. Groupon, just sitting out there waiting for you to offer a prepayment agency. What do I mean? Dude, you go onto Groupon, okay? Filter out all the crap. You're like, carpet cleaning offers. It's going to give you a thousand. And then you're going to go, you're going to see this one had 10,000 claims on it. Like, sweet, I don't got. I don't have to test that offer. It's a proven offer. It's right there in front of you. You take it, you upload it to Facebook. You tell your client, hey, here's how this is going to work. You're going to pay me $97 a month for the platform fee, plus any, like, don't, don't, at 97 bucks or 197, whatever, 197, charge 197. Those who you pay. pay UpEx, right? Yeah. No, I'm talking okay. about your white label software. Okay. okay. Um. You, you say you're going to pay 197 plus rebuilding for Twilio. Don't, I mean, net 197, you net 197. Okay. Yeah. So that's tier number one. That's all they pay. And then you say, here's the cool thing. You're required to spend 500 to $1,000 in ads fund every, every month that goes straight to Facebook. But anything that comes back goes through a prepayment coupon. And the prepayment coupon I get half, you get half. It's a 50-50 split. So what does this look like? This looks like, okay, I pay 197 bucks and then whatever I want to do in terms of advertising. And then John gets paid every time I sell one of the vouchers, the group, they're selling on Groupon already. You know they're going to sell. Mm -hmm. Every time that John gets a sell from that, I get half of the money. He gets half of the money. Boom. Win-win. So he's, I'm not paying him some exorbitant like retainer. I'm not paying him this thing. And in fact, you could even do it to where you charge him less for the, like, you got to play around with the fudge around with the numbers, mm. right? If you're, dude, if you're, if you got a, a, a carpet cleaning company and they can do, I don't even know what they can do. 50, let's say they can do 50 deals in a month. You charge them $47 for UPEX plus rebilling, but they have to spend $1,000. That $1,000 translates to 50 sales. How much is, a, how much is the average uh, carpet cleaning thing? I don't even, I don't Sounds know. Sounds like it runs anywhere between, from what I'm seeing on their, on their account, um, just from the stuff that's coming back, it's about 250 to 400 per house, so per, per client. All right, so 250 to 400. So let's say 200, just to, I mean- yeah. Let's keep it silly, stupid. You're getting a hundred bucks every time they sell a gig and they forget about the $47 or the $97 that you're paying for them. Cause that's in the forget me money category. Mm -hmm. You're like, wait, a hundred dollars times 50. I'm making five grand a month on one place. Budge around with the formula, budge around with the numbers. But if I'm doing a niche like yours, that's a commoditized niche. By the way, when you're in a commoditized niche, what's the only thing you can compete on? Price. Yeah, yeah. So that's all you got. The but, concern is but the offers are already on Groupon. People are already doing them. Just no, 100%. Yeah. That's just, good advice, man. I never thought of that. I was thinking Vista, what's that little value pack, whatever you get in the mail? It's the same uh, thing. But, yeah, it's just, I was going to look at it. They're willing to do here. it. You yeah. just make it so they can do it like all of the time, every day, without waiting for a bundle to go out, without the, the and the problem, and here's your other selling point. You can say, you know, the problem with the Groupon uh, offers is not necessarily the offers, it's the mentality of the people who go to Groupon. Mm -hmm. 
They're going there thinking this is a one-stop shop. When we put these offers in front of our demographic on Facebook, they're like, that's a great offer. And guess what? I'll follow up with you in a year from now when you need another business. The good thing is, Mr. Client, sir, we have a database reactivation. So once a year or twice a year, whatever your thing is, it goes out and it gets you sales for free. That's included. All those sales, free. Yeah, and that's what I discovered away with the, even with this client. They had a list of 400 people, and they never they haven't talked to him in three years. So right away, he, he um, he's going to activate. And that's the other thing, too. And list reactivation, obviously, do you go right off the get-go with an offer, or do you kind of warm him into an offer? Hey, we got VIP customer. We got this exclusive thing we're doing for XX. Get them interested and then hit them on an offer, or would you recommend just going straight to an offer? Um, my favorite thing for list reactivation is the nine-word email. Or the nine word text. You know what that is? No. Anybody know what that is? No. Oh, Brad knows. What's up? Nobody knows. <laughs> do you so know, Brad? Are you, are you? Yeah. Like, are you? Are you still interested in buying a home? Like, that's what I do for like my business. Are you still interested in refinancing a home? Just quick. The the subject line, the first thing they see. So if it's email, the subject line is their name. So it's John. Yeah. The email is: Are you still interested? in getting your carpet cleaned question mark done okay that's the only thing you do one the subject line they can't not open it so you're you're open if it's email your open rate is going to be like 40 50 percent okay guaranteed almost every time two it's one line it's like it's a, and it's it's binary okay so that's one way to do it there's a second way to do it that came from chris voss anybody know that one <laughs> nope <laughs> I don't <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I, that's what I'm here for to share with, share with you guys. Have you given up on getting your carpet cleaned? Now, maybe your carpet cleaning is maybe that's a little aggressive for carpet, but anybody else, if you've got a, if you've got a longer sales cycle or you've had people that are like, oh, whatever, like the decision, dude, say, are you still, are, have you given up on, on refinancing your mortgage? Have you given up on listing your home? Have you given up on getting solar put in your house? Have you given up on getting help with your back pain? Have you get whatever it is? It's a very, you're going to get the same and you'll get people. It's a little bit, the, the responses are a little bit, just be aware that when you do that one, it's a little bit more aggressive, the responses, but Hey man, you're not here to appease and, and uh, what is it? Shake hands and kiss babies, whatever. You're here to make money for the businesses that you serve. So use a nine word email and uh, there you go. Thank you.